What's going on guys, Matt Wasik here and welcome back to my channel and let's just cut right into it. I want to share with you guys a way that you can essentially kind of supplement or replace your job's income by selling microservices on websites such as legit.com, that's with two eyes. And there are a couple of reasons to why I wanted to do this video. One, because we just opened up a new service on legit and I will get to that service in a second, but one of my students in paper call lead generation mastery had reached out to me asking to critique his service of basically creating landing pages for paper call affiliate affiliates and lead generation marketers that he sells on legit and also on Fiverr. And he's doing this to essentially be able to kind of supplement his income so he can continue funding his business. Because if you don't have a funding source for your business, you're not going to be able to get very far. I'm sorry. So this kind of inspired me to do this video with kind of laying out how you guys could do the same with getting started, get the ball rolling, start building some momentum, hopefully eventually replace your income from your job. So that way you don't have to go and spend 10 hours traveling and working and then coming home, sitting in traffic or whatever it is that you have to do to only make maybe a hundred dollars when you could do the same selling microservices from the skill sets that you obtain from YouTube or from within a course or something like that. And you get a massive ROI, whether it was a course or whether it was just spending time watching YouTube videos and learning the skill because you can do this with selling PBN articles or if you can write articles in English that's another in-demand service or graphic design or anything of the sort there are many 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 people out there that make five figures per month just selling microservices and when we break down the numbers here in a second and you'll see how it's really not too complicated and it's really just simple math and getting traffic to get to that type of level so real quick without plugging the service or making this into a big promotional video or anything like that the service that we are selling is PBN links for home services niche type of website. So first things first, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. If you are looking to be building a site that's going to basically rank for lots of keywords in like one state or one particular region, you're going to need to have your own PBNs and that's just the reality of it. But if you're someone who's just getting started, you want to rank for maybe some lower competition keywords, get your initial revenue coming in. Services like ours is where you'd want to go. They're relatively inexpensive. You don't have to worry about maintaining or anything like that. And it'll help you with just getting started, set the framework. And without taking too much time to promote the service and all that sort of stuff, the sales page goes super in depth with everything that is all involved in the service. So, but what I want to do is explain to you guys how you can do the similar and the numbers that you could churn out on these types of sites when you can get the appropriate amount of traffic. And some of these sites do sell ad space so you can show up at the top of the searches for the services. It's like 10 or 20 or $30 a day on legit or even maybe a little bit more depending on the niche and the competition level, just like AdWords. Something to hopefully open your guys' minds up that you don't necessarily have to just work a job and and then only put that into paper call affiliate marketing because if you're trying to rank for some super competitive terms that can take a little bit of time to get 200 bucks a day selling services but we'll say that we're selling pbn articles with links and just to keep things simple if you are selling a straight up service like logo design all you have to do is have photoshop or if you're selling content creation all you need to have is word processing software which is 100 free you can go get open office if you wanted to it'll cost you nothing all you have to do is put your time into creating the content so for an example but let's just take the gig that I have going right now, which is selling PBN articles for 10 bucks a piece. And in order to make a hundred bucks in a day, we got to do 10 of those in a single day. And like everything in business, you can start low. And then as reviews start coming in, testimonials and results and the demand increases, like I'm doing with my course is starting to increase the price. Then you can start making more money with having to acquire less customers. It's one of the easiest ways to increase your profits in any type of business. Let's say you spend four hours every single day creating the content and then also communicating with buyers and that sort of stuff. And I did include one hour of building your PBNs like WordPress and the initial pages, the article, that sort of stuff. And that can vary quite a bit, but let's just say four hours per day. So you're sitting at $25 gross revenue. So not bad. A lot of jobs pay about 25 bucks an hour and then you have taxes that come out. And yes, there are costs that come into play when it comes to PBNs and we'll get to that in a minute. But if we do that for a month, every single day, provided that we have the traffic, yes, it'll take a little bit of time to get to that level where we are selling 10 articles each day, every single day through the entire month. But it's absolutely possible with the amount of traffic these sites get. That right there at 10 bucks a pop, if you're staying at that $10 price point is $3,000 a month gross. Now, if your metrics of the sites are good enough, you could easily charge maybe 12 bucks or 1250. That would increase it by another 25%. So you'd be at about 3750 per month with that level, or you could go up to $4,500 a month if you are selling them for 15 bucks a pop 
or if you're selling them for $20 a month, and believe me, there are people selling PBN links for 50 bucks or even $100 per link on really high metric sites that did cost a bit more to get established and that sort of thing, but you could be making six grand a month with, with that much volume. However, there is a limit to PBNs with how much you can post on them before the link juice essentially is maxed out. I've explained link juice in previous videos. We do go pretty in depth with it in my course and the PBNs with the metrics that we are selling links on with the legit gig, you'd probably be able to get away with about 20 articles per site before the link juice is totally maxed out. So this can vary tremendously. What that basically would mean though is that you'd have to acquire 15 new PBNs per month. Now again, the timing and all that sort of stuff can really change things and you kind of really would have to just really do a lot of manual labor of the work and kind of figure out a system to how and when you decide to change over to new stuff to new sites and that sort of stuff. But to keep the math easy, we'll just say 15 new PBNs per month. So let's figure out the costs that go into generating this, this 3,000 bucks a month. The initial domain purchase, now this is not going to Namecheap or any other sites to register your domain. This is going and purchasing an expired domain from someone on a marketplace usually, or you can spend a whole bunch of time in the auction if you wanted to, but I would way rather outsource that and just purchase from someone who has a good track record, which is why there's a link to him down below in the description. The seller's name is Sakit, I believe. He's from the UK, I believe, and I've bought tons and tons of domains from him on legit, but those can vary anywhere between like five bucks I've seen on the low end for a really low metric one and anywhere between five bucks on the low end all upwards of $200 maybe per domain if it's a really, really high metric site for 10 bucks a piece. And that's $150 for each month as you acquire new clients. Let's just say we have traffic coming in and we need to acquire all these domains. So 150 bucks for the first month right there in new domains. Now, we need to register those domains. I highly recommend Namecheap because they have the free who is protection and that sort of stuff. So that is gonna be about $11 for each one. And that term with 10 of those, that comes out to about 165 bucks per year. And then when it comes to hosting, you can certainly do what I've done in other videos where I talk about getting the hosting through HostGator or through Bluehost or any of those other ones, but then you get, you have to really be careful with footprint and that sort of stuff and switching it out with Cloudflare and really just keeping everything clean. You can also though go to a site like Easy Blog Networks, which is a site that allows you to host your domains. They put them on different hosting companies and that sort of stuff and change of the name servers and, and everything is taken care of there and it's actually pretty affordable. For 15 domains, it's about 50 bucks per month. If you end up going to somewhere like HostGator, that's gonna to be triple that per month. And now let's factor in labor. And this is because I see so many people talking about business, but they don't factor in labor hours. This is something I had learned in my landscape business where what we were selling was labor and materials and markup and that sort of stuff. Labor is huge. If you are someone who's not doing the work, you have to have people doing the labor and you have to account for those costs. So labor, and let's say we already have a system going, the VA knows what to do when all this stuff comes in. They're able to manage the orders on the freelancing site, and they spend, I don't know, four, four hours a day at about 10 bucks an hour for a really good VA. That's 40 bucks a day, and let's say they're working 30 days out of the month, or uh, maybe it's 15 days out of the month for eight hours a day. Either way, that's about $1,200 per month in costs of going out. So grand total of all these expenses would be about $1,565 every single month. And this would increase as we have more domains. So that means more hosting that we have to do. And then of course, more content, so more labor. And so all in all, it'd be about 15, we'll say 1600 a month in expenses. And so we clear 10 bucks for each one of the services. Now, some of the sites do have fees in terms of purchases, like 10% for legit. If they have an affiliate link, that's an additional 15%, but you didn't have to acquire that traffic. And the likelihood of that person coming to you again is quite high. But let's just say to keep the math simple, cleared $3,000 in gross revenue after the fees. So we have 300 articles going out and that leaves us about 1400 bucks in profit for the month. Not too bad, especially if we start increasing the amount that we charge for each one of these services. At 15 bucks for each one of these links, essentially on autopilot. Now, I'm not saying you're gonna be able to do this tomorrow or anything like that, but with a good system in place, a good trusted VA that's doing the work and you're able to access good domains and be able to get them established and all that sort of stuff, three grand a month profit to essentially meet with this laborer, for lack of a better term, to make sure everything's all squared away and just checking up on the site. So you might have to spend two, three hours a week just checking over everything, not bad.
in my opinion. So you can also raise the price even more. And we usually up into this territory though, if you're selling the, the links for 20 bucks a pop or, or for, even if it's 50 bucks a pop, the costs are gonna increase a little bit. But in terms of the profit that you can make when you have a good system in place for creating that content on the sites, that's still not a bad way to go about it. And if you're someone who's doing this, like I mentioned with article writing, just purely article writing as a service, which you can also outsource again, just make sure that the person writing the article is very well spoken when it comes to English and they can type well, there's still a lot of margin there as well. So hopefully you guys got some value out of all this. The links to both of our services are going to be right down below. My student's name is Sura. He has the two landing page building gigs and then we have our home services pbn link service as well and if you guys like this type of content or want to learn more about paper called digital marketing as a whole be sure to go down below smash that subscribe button and also hit the bell for notifications so that way you know when the newest content comes live here on my channel with all that said my name is matt wasik thank you for checking out my channel and i will see you in the next video